all came to a crunch on the 24th of May. I was yeah, about four and a half k's from the house at Calabaran and I fell asleep behind the wheel. Hit a tree, destroyed, completely destroyed the ute, and in the process of doing that, I damn near destroyed myself. The charm bracelet, well, that's my left hip, and that's what's holding it all together these days. My name's Alan Sattler, and I'm farming at Beverly and Calabaran. Oh, I struggling with everything, you know, there's, there was no doubt. Hugely overweight, working hard, playing harder. Uh, I was a big drinker, um, you know, well, what I classify as a big drinker. If it was five cans, it was 10. If it was 10, it was 15. And that was, you know, and that was sort of every night. Want a coffee? Mm, no, I suppose. That accident wasn't the first. We've had other tragedies. I know we lost a boy 17 years ago. We lost Joe's dad to, to mental health suicide try and pinpoint where uh, or when the, you know, like the, the drinking actually became normal. Um, and that's the hardest thing. You're not really sure at what point it became normal. I got to about four weeks in and I'm laying in hospital bent, buckled and broken and I couldn't work out why I was happy. Um, long discussion with the nurse at the time and she said, you know, wait till you get to six weeks because that's how long it takes for the alcohol to get out of your system. The accident that probably needed to happen, uh, something needed to happen to make me change. Yeah, lots changed. Lots changed in the last 12 months. So things are a lot better, you know, and it's just, yeah, pretty amazing, really. Yeah. We know, don't drink it because it's got sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> He's always home every night, which is a blessing, but then again, not. <laughs> There was lights, because the accident happened mm. only five kilometres away from the house. Statistically speaking, he's a statistic. I just placed the meal down on the table and I turned to him and I said, I think Alan might have come to grief or had a bit of a mischief and um, I'll just go down and check. It was a bit, bit confronting. It was something that you sort of... Um, you play over in your mind, seeing that sort of scene when you first rock up to, well, anybody that comes across a, a major road accident. Uh, it's such a a, um, a shock to your system that it sort of sh shocks you into making a change. <laughs> you love me, bud? No. Uh, where I'm thin now. I'm proud that, yeah, he's got a great relationship now with his kids and... Yeah, and he's given up, you know, drinking alcohol and, and um, yeah, he's sort of back to basically that fellow that I met however many years ago. <laughs> yeah. I work on the thing, if I, save one, if I save one life, then me telling what's going on has been worth it. If one bloke turns around and goes, that's me, and stops drinking or cuts his drinking back or whatever, then it's worth it. Thank you.